One thing different about entering this year is that I'm more hopeful and self-assured than I was last year. I am more accepting of who I am and where I am. Last year, I honestly didn't know what to expect and I remember feeling anxious about a lot of things on my birthday. I normally push myself through the discomfort because I've learned that in life nothing lasts forever. However, this time around I had no discomforts, just hope in knowing I have the power to actually choose the life I want to lead. For the first time I also feel like I'm in the right place at the right time with the right people. It's so easy for us to live in the future, longing, or in the past, regretting. But what we don't realize is by oscillating between the past and the future, we sacrifice and dishonor our present. And once the present has passed with its own opportunities, we then regret that. And so the cycle continues. I've also learned so much about myself and the people around me. I am now actively questioning the way I think, the reason behind certain actions, and why I feel the way I feel about anything. This has made me figure myself out more and has helped to empower me in order to make better decisions for myself. 2021 brought so many disappointments and hurt to my life, but for the first time, I chose not to crumble. I rode every wave of unfavorable change that came my way. This is where my favorite term, nothing lasts forever, came in handy. I just kept saying, this too shall pass. And indeed, it passed. So, the birthday celebrations carry on and today is a Sunday and I am heading to Hardis uh, for lunch. So, hold on, let me just open. So, yeah, so as you can see, my baby balloons go with me everywhere. But yeah, today heading to Hardis for lunch.
peeps, so we are finally here. So what makes this farm very nice is that it's aesthetically pleasing. It normally has orange oranges on the field, so you get this orange ambiance. Because I looked on the trees, they're still green as ever. Um, but yeah, this place is very beautiful. Uh, the, also, the menu is not bad. Like, I'm looking at a fillet skewer. Like, a platter for four is around 295. Uh, maybe a, a Mediterranean platter is around 225. So this would be a good place. It's a little out of Josie, in Hardy's, relaxed. There's beautiful views. I will take you guys around to show you what you can expect here. As you saw, the seating is beautiful. It's in a garden setup. And people are just relaxed and chilled. Like the atmosphere tells you to just calm down, relax and enjoy your day. And the weather has been so beautiful as well. It's been sunny. But yeah, just uh, hang around with us. I'll show you also our meals as well, uh, so that you can be part and parcel and you can see what to expect. I also learned a very valuable lesson that has helped shape how I want to tackle 2022. People who love you will never miss an opportunity to show you just how much they do. The value they have for you will show in their actions. I've noticed this in myself. I'm willing to move mountains or travel far for the people or things I love and value. This can play out in a simple phone call, asking how you are, how you feel, or if you need anything. It can also play out in someone actively wanting to spend time with you, and if they can't, they will communicate to you because they care about how you feel about things. It also plays out in how they invest themselves in you. I realize I spent too much time craving and hoping for people and things that actually don't really value me or do nothing for me. Hello! <laughs> While yearning for the things far from me, I have been neglecting those standing right next to me, waiting for their turn to show me love. I believe this is why my birthday played out so well this year. The people who love and value me called me and asked to spend time with me on my birthday. I surrendered to all of them and gave everyone their time to spoil me and I feel so blessed and content. Just yesterday, I even got a call that an opportunity that I have been wanting has come to fruition simply because I surrendered to the here and now. This has inspired me to take it up a notch this year. For the people that I love, I will show you how much I value you. So, what I've decided this year is to stop and focus on who and what is here, right now. I will no longer gaze or hope for things that aren't to be. I'm hoping this will resonate with you too. You don't need to be a slave to your passions or beg for love, attention or validation. Everything you need for the season you're in is right here with you. I shared this quote on TikTok at the end of the year and I hope it will set you free too. If you are healing, heal so that you can understand that attention is not love. Attachment is not a connection and the bare minimum is not effort. What are you gonna have to drink to start off? Yeah. I think I actually want wine. Like, I bought this other nice wine. If you're drinking, I'd make you taste it. It's fruity, it's white wine. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> what fruity white wines do you have? Yeah, nice, fruity. Can be a little sweet, but just I need something put by the glass because we don't. He doesn't drink so. Uh, I'm sorry, but the glass only has a dry white one. Dry white? Yeah. Oh. Dry white, okay. Yeah, dry white. 
Why are you gonna drink one glass? Because the bottle is a three glass. It's for the things I don't want just a random white wine, you know. It's a little angel. And that's the only wine you serve for glass. beautiful view I think I'll start with the food the food in this place is quality and the portions are quite generous as you saw I chose to eat a salad and even that salad I had to share because it was so big um, it's quality even the the vegetables are fresh I had little crouton little bread sticks whatever they are with salmon the salmon was fresh with the cream cheese that was delicious and um, the only thing though wines by the glass are limited so if you want wine in this place just prepare to get a whole bottle it's just that this time around I was the only one who was drinking and I normally don't go beyond two glasses so I was stuck to a certain white wine that wasn't quite delicious 
but that's besides the point um, the views here are amazing like I said it is an orange farm they actually grow quite a lot of fruit trees here because we also saw some mango trees and it's quite big and um, I don't know if they farm it I think it would be the smart thing to farm it I think they farm uh, these fruits that I hear the place is beautiful like right now I'm sitting under a tree there's breeze there's a view I'm looking at the Sun just fall on the canopies of trees that I'm looking at overall this is a good place to come in on an afternoon for lunch um, with your mates you know you can come in a group you can take someone out on a date it's really a good quiet place it gives you the feel of like you're not in the city but yet you're not too far off that's how quiet it is like it's beautiful and also the deco inside blew my mind but anyway so there's a little greenhouse here and a little garden you can see pot plants and different type of and I think it's herbs it's just that I didn't take a serious look at it uh, where they're growing different plants different herbs and a little greenhouse there didn't look inside the greenhouse because I was looking for this place I won't lie I've got the iris and this is why I wanted to find this place so that I can chill and just watch the view but overall I give this place a good 8 out of 10 which I think is great uh, for a place that is in Hartapia Sport Dam so yeah and um, the other thing is once you're done eating the farm is wide enough for you to take a walk so we took a little stroll between the trees just looking at the different fruits that are available so the nice thing about this place is even after we finished eating the farm is wide enough for you to take long strolls under the trees you know experiencing the flowers the different bushes the different fruit trees so that's what we did after we ate and now because I've got the iris um, I'm just chilling under a tree breeze and just having a view but yeah this place is nice with the occasional hearing a truck or a little bike ride this place is relatively quiet and peaceful so if you like places like that this is the place the other thing I actually need to mention is okay so the last time we came here I actually booked at almost orange but we ended up in orange bistro so there's two restaurants here and we ended up at the not so picturesque restaurant um the last time did i say restaurant because <laughs> i've got spit i'm trying to <laughs> hurt myself you know why do i sound closer now is the restaurant sorry my cousin people i love you but yeah, the last time we booked at the Orange Bish at the so there's two restaurants. The one is called Almost Orange. That's the one with nice um, orange trees and whatnot when it's season. And then there's Orange Bistro. Orange Bistro is, is a bit smaller and doesn't have views like the other one. So if you want to come here, make sure that you go to Almost Orange because I know that's what people will like the most. And then Orange Bistro, you can go only if Almost Orange is full because it does tend to be full. But overall, I think you will enjoy this place. Um, I'd link it if they were sponsoring me. But all you need to do is just Google it. It's on Hearties. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if these are the type of vlogs that you want to see. As you know, my channel, I do lifestyle. Lifestyle meaning the things that I do in my life. That's all I can give you. I can't give you anything else. But if you're specific with the type of information or videos that you want to see, then I can curate it around that. Please give me a like if you enjoyed this video. And also don't forget to share with your friends, you know, whoever friend you want to take to this restaurant or loved one or family share with them so that they can see what they can look forward to and don't forget to subscribe told y'all this year i'm serious 2022 i'm going to be consistent i'm going to try and grow this channel because i think i've got a lot of value to give to you guys i hope you enjoyed bye oh my gosh guys so we are driving home from almost orange and you know when you pass the hard to be a sport dam um you see water this time around i just saw green what you're seeing behind me is not a field it is the actual dam how beautiful is this check it out so over there you can see a bit of the dam but everything else is covered by this greenery how amazing is this